Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca and another of our short video installments in which we take a look at human emotion, astrology, and the financial markets. In this brief video installment, I'm going to take a brief departure from focusing on the financial markets and I'm going to instead take a look at larger degree events that occurred on planet Earth that really had a lasting impact on humanity and on global history. Consider the following, if you will. I think we can all agree that the events in late 1941 associated with the bombing of Pearl Harbor by Japanese forces represented a very critical turning point in global history. These events opened the door for the United States to become involved in World War II. Now at that time, planet Uranus was situated at 28 degrees in the sign of Taurus. If we advance Uranus 90 degrees in the zodiac wheel, that places us at 28 degrees of Leo. And this occurred in 1962. The Cuban Missile Crisis was unfolding and again, global history was being impacted. 90 degrees more places Uranus at 28 degrees of Scorpio. The time was 1981 and the Iran-Iraq war was intensifying and this is a war that had a lasting impact on Middle Eastern politics. 90 degrees later places Uranus at 28 degrees of Aquarius. The time? 2003. The United States was about to invade Iraq, an event which as we now know has dramatically reshaped Middle Eastern politics and world history. 90 degrees more will place Uranus once again at 28 degrees of Taurus for the completion of a full cycle. And this will occur in the year 2025. Now 2025 is also going to be the peak of an 18.6 year mid-order cycle, which I've talked about in my, in my various publications. So an economy peaking in a McWhorter cycle along with a full Uranus cycle coming to completion suggests to me that 2025 could be a very difficult time not only for global history but for the financial markets as well. So this little video uh, in its simplicity has given us a lot to think about. Human emotion definitely is a frail entity and human emotion has led to crises and to conflict throughout time and these crises events and these conflict events are not random occurrences by any stretch of the imagination they definitely are linked to intervals increments and movements of the big significant outer planets as they exert a gravitational pull on the planet earth and somehow that gravitational pull does affect our frail emotion and so we can see in this case that Uranus has played a role in everything from World War II to a Cuban Missile Crisis to uh, events in the Middle East. And now we see that in 2025 it is again going to revisit us, but it's going to do so um, at a time when there's going to be another cycle reaching its peak, and that is the economic cycle, the 18.6 year economic cycle, uh, as defined by Louise McWhorter. And so I realize that 2025 is definitely a ways away, but um, a person should always be looking to the future and should always be prepared. And I would say uh, in 10 years' time, we all need to be very, very cautious for what possibly could come at us. It may be a, a crisis, but it could also be a full-blown global conflict. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, you can find me at investingsuccess.ca and you can follow my blogs at astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com.